Greetings from the farm. Welcome back to the Mondo Farms channel. It's so nice to have you with us. We're here down at Riverside One and I'm going to take, take you through the uh, onions down here that we saw in the previous episode, how they were being transplanted. So now we're going to join us as we take a quick look, walk through them, as we look at how they're actually faring um, after a couple of months after transplanting. <music> So as we start having a look, the first batch we're going to have a look at is the Capriccio, which was transplanted on uh, June 15th. And it's what we have in the first four and a bit bits, three and a bit bits. Um, block, block bit A, block A, uh, B and C. And as you can see, we can see a little bit of bulb formation. They're starting to bulb. Embarrassing weed there. Time for some oxygen. We will be weeding soon. And what you can't tell um, on the video, of course, is the beautiful smell of onion that we have. But we've got some very strong plants. Seeing a little bit of yellowing along the sides, which I need to check with the agronomist to say what could be you doing that. But they're due for some spraying with some uh, folia, calcium nitrate, as well as some kelp Pimax as we keep up with our spring program. As we keep looking after these. So, what you'll also notice is the way that we set up the, um, uh, the drip lines is that we have one meter beds, then we have four one meter beds there, and then you have four uh, drip lines covering the beds and these have given us um, quite excellent water coverage we haven't really had any problem uh, with that so this here we go onion is a, is a crop that we are focusing on this year and it's been our second third time of planting it and i think we're getting better and better at it so here we have the capriccio which is a good uh, white onion. This is the yellowing of the side. I think it could be something to do with thrips. It could be. Vegetable farming is like uh, raising children. You're always constantly looking. Oh, one other thing I'll talk about is the actual spacing that we did. So we used a spacer that gives us 10 centimeter uh, in row. And then we planted these at around about eight-ish or 10-ish, these ones in between. That'll give us a reasonably medium-sized bulb. We'll see how that gets along. So. Thrips. Thrips, as you know, is one of the most uh, vicious little pests that we have in onion plants. We have some insecticide, so we're putting it through. Let's take a look at the other side. Where we moved into. We're now in block C, A, B, C. And we are looking at more of the red creole, or as uh, they say, red creole. So you can also see how we set up our our posters here, where these three lines was when the seedlings were being brought, and one, two, three, and uh, then 
the, with the white capricio seedlings ran out here so then we shifted from this block over to the red creole this is a hygrotech variety hygrotech it's one of those quiet companies that slowly gets on with um, serving the needs of farmers uh, they're located just at the showgrounds entrance Lusaka and uh, very good bunch of guys they've got excellent products in terms of seeds in terms of uh, other farm farming inputs as well so uh, I was at Hygrotech this morning actually buying some more seed so here's um, red creole Hygrotech's red creole and it carries on Um, YouTube life you have to keep talking some more of the red creole transplanted June 16 and um, here we see it give a bit of a low down close up view if you're one of those that's into veg watching then this is what you want to be seeing beautiful veg veg all the way veg I'm gonna go down there uh, that's the river, the Chongo River that's down there. It's our source of life here. And when I cross over there, you'll see the second batch of seedlings that were planted. In the previous video, these were the ones that we were talking about having. They were coming in from the, uh, from the nursery and they were still being nursed at the time. So here you see a different transplant date, which is July 9th. And we then came in with more of the capricia that's down here. So all of the rest of uh, Riverside One is uh, the same red, it's the same white capricia. Capricia, another quiet underdog um, OPV variety. It's quite good. We like it. We do have some hybrids uh, at Westgate, another part of the farm, and we'll be taking a look at those in a different video. So here we are in the uh, um, second batch of seedlings that were transplanted on uh, July 9th. And you see some of our various setups um, for the drip lines there. Again, one meter beds, uh, varying lengths, but with the four drip lines across it, which has given us very good water. One thing you'll notice here on this batch of, um, of onion is that we had changed the spacing a little bit. We still have 10 centimeter in row, but this time you see slightly less, about five centimeters uh, in between each plant. So that's your five, two, three, four, five here. And we were able to squeeze in a lot more um, onion plants into these beds than we were before on the first group uh, back there. You can actually see that they're looking a lot older. So they're a month ahead of this one. So let's see which variety we have here. And these are the last one, two, three blocks. Block E, F, and G. Okay, we're back to the Capriccio. We always buy in Capriccio. Reasonably priced open uh, pollinated variety where did we buy the seed uh, we bought this seed if I remember correctly at farmers barn farmers barn the Mumbo Road branch which uh, offers a little bit of space good parking easy access easy accessibility and uh, you know good guys that know their stuff so we're good to our fans of farmers barn thanks to Bandish and his team there Some more of the uh, white capriccio 
transplanted on the July 9th. Um, looking good. We've just crossed over with this one from the um, basal dressing stage where we were using compound D into a top dressing where we had applied um, some uh, calcium ammonium nitrate uh, a few days ago, I think two weeks ago. And on top of that, we've also been spraying with, uh, with some KLP Max and some other folias. So, onion's a good crop. It will give you what you put in, in terms of the uh, quality of the seed, in terms of the uh, water, and in terms of the um, nutrients, the feeding, direct feeding, which I call it, um, which is the fertilizers, your ammonians and your potassiums and your phosphoruses, but also the micronutrients. This is what we always get from the the other foliar sprays like the KLP Max. So this is the uh, actually the bottom end of the farm, and the Chongo River is behind those um, Mpasa-like things there. Another beautiful uh, Musangu tree. We have a lot of Musangu trees dotted along the uh, Chongo River here. And as you know, most of you who have Zambian extraction, Musangu is a, our local name for the Winterthorn tree. And we named this farm Winterthorn uh, in honor of uh, this beautiful nitrogen-fixing leguminous uh, beautiful big trees that we have that we have here we actually planted a few of them within the farm which we'll take a look at another video so thank you very much for joining us here on the mondo farms channel please like and subscribe let's share the good news that there's a channel uh, that's sharing another um, great emerging zambian farm story we'll have more and more episodes coming up uh, as i get more used to filming stuff to find more time for editing and keep sharing with you guys uh, how we're doing if you have any questions or comments please uh, put them in the comments below and we'll try and get to them and see how we can address what you're asking so i will say bye for now see you next time take care bye